Hello, my dear students. Welcome to episode 19, SeaWorld Secrets. And today we're studying the past continuous with when. But before we start, let's revise the past simple tense. What is the past simple tense? The past simple is used to talk about a completed action in a time before now. The time of the action can be the recent time or the far off past. Let's take the first example. Sally traveled to France and saw the Eiffel Tower in 2007. We have two verbs, traveled and saw, and they are both in the past simple tense. And we have in 2007 indicating that this happened in the past. Let's take another example. My team won a basketball competition last Sunday. What's the verb here? The verb is won and it's in the past simple tense. And we have last Sunday indicating that this event happened in the past. Another example. John went fishing yesterday. It was a wonderful day. The verb here is went and it's in the past simple tense. We have yesterday indicating the past and was also indicating that this happened in the past. Now we just revised the affirmative sentences, sentences in the past simple tense and now we're going to revise how to ask questions. Do as shown between brackets. They visited their grandmother last week. Ask a question. We can form two questions for this answer. We can ask about the action, visited, and we can ask about the time, last week. Now first, let's ask about the action. The action here is visited, so we're going to use what. We're using what to know the action. What did and we use did because the verb is in the past simple tense. We're not going to use do or does because we have visited and we use did for the past simple tense. They do. Here we use do. Verb one. Last week. And please don't forget the question mark. Now, second, let's ask about the time. They visited their grandmother last week. So, we're going to use when to ask about the time. We used when to ask about the time. Then we're going to use did. Why did we use did? Well, we used did because we have the verb visited in the past simple tense. They visit. Visit here is verb one. When we ask a question, we change the verb into its root form. So we changed visited into visit, their grandmother. And don't forget to use the question mark. So you can form two different questions with the same answer. When did they visit their grandmother? To ask about the time. What did they do last week? To ask about the action. Now, we just revised how to make affirmative sentences in the past simple tense, how we form questions in the past simple tense, and now we're going to revise negation, changing into negative form. Do as shown between brackets. We lived in London for a long time. Make negative. So what are we going to do? Well, first, we're going to look at the verb, lived. What are we going to do? We're going to change it into its root form. So we're going to change lived into live. And then we're going to add didn't before the verb. Did not live. We did not live in London for a long time. Now, let's learn about the past continuous tense with when. What is the past continuous tense with when? The past continuous tense is used to describe a continuous action 
or state that was happening in the past. So the past continuous tense, okay, and the past simple tense can be merged together using when. So how can we merge the past continuous tense and the past simple tense sentences? We use when. So in merging sentences with when, we have the past simple tense, a short action, and the past continuous tense, a long action. For the past simple tense, it's a completed action in the past. And for the past continuous, the long action, well, it's an action in progress in the past. Let's take the first example. Dala was eating dinner. Reem called her. So we have two actions. The long action, Dala was eating dinner. Reem called her. Now for the long action, we're going to use the past continuous tense. And for the short action, we're going to use the past simple tense. Now for the long action, we're going to use the past continuous tense. So we're going to use was or were with the verb plus ing. And for the short action, the past simple tense with verb to. Dala was eating dinner when Reem called her. Now, focus. We already know that we have two sentences, one in the past simple tense and one in the past continuous tense. Now, the verb after when is going to be in the past simple tense. Let's read the sentence again. Dala was eating dinner, now that's the past continuous tense. When, what did we use after when? The past simple tense. Reem called her. Let's take another example. They were walking on the beach, they found a shell. The long action, walking on the beach, the short action, they found a shell. For the past continuous tense, we're going to use was or were with the verb plus I and G. So we use was for singular and we use were for plural. And for the past simple tense, we're going to use verb too. They were walking on the beach when they found the shell. Now, we use the past continuous tense to describe a continuous action and another action that interrupted it. A continuous action, we're walking on the beach, another action that interrupted it. They found the shell. My family were having a picnic. It started to rain. The long action, we're having a picnic. Short action, it started to rain. The past continuous, we use was, were, with the verb plus ing. And for the past simple tense, we're going to use verb too. When it started to rain, my family were having a picnic. Now let's focus on the position of when in the sentence. It's at the beginning of the sentence. So how are we going to separate those two sentences? We're going to use the comma. When it started to rain, comma, my family were having a picnic. Now remember, when when is in the middle of the sentence, we don't use the comma. Another example, the man was taking photos of some fish. He fell into water. What's the long action? Okay, the long action here is taking pictures and the short action, he fell. Now for the long action, we're going to use the past continuous tense. That means we're going to use was, were, with the verb plus ing, and for the past simple tense, verb to. The man was taking photos of some fish when he fell into water. Now pay attention, when is at the middle of the sentence, and that's why we did not use the comma. Now test yourself. Choose the correct answer. When I got up this morning, comma, my mother was making, is making, made our breakfast. And dad reads, was reading, is reading the newspaper. My little brothers sleep, are sleeping, were sleeping. 
Now let's check your answers. When I got up this morning, my mother was making, is making, made. What are we going to choose? We're going to choose was making. You know why? Because it's in the past continuous tense. Is making is in the present simple tense. And we already have the past simple tense at the beginning of the sentence. We have when, and that's why we use got up in the past simple tense. And then for the other part of the sentence, we're going to use the past continuous. That's why we chose was making our breakfast and dad. So we're still going with the second part of the sentence. Reads, was reading, is reading. What are we going to choose? We're going to choose was reading. It's a long action. Reading is a long action and that's why we're going to choose the past continuous tense. We're not going to use is reading because it's in the present continuous tense. The newspaper. My little brothers sleep, are sleeping, we're sleeping. What are we going to choose? We're sleeping. You know why? Because it's in the past continuous tense. Are sleeping are in the present continuous tense. And for the long action, like sleeping, we're going to use the past continuous tense. Now, my dear students, try and do it yourself. You can do the exercise on your student book, page 44, exercise 5. Look at the sentences in the box. I was swimming down to the shipwreck when I saw a whale shark. Now, how many actions are there? Which action is longer? Which action is shorter? Remember, we use the past continuous for the action that was in progress. Use the past simple for the completed action. An example, I was watching TV when somebody knocked the door. Now, let's answer the questions. How many actions are there? I was swimming down to the shipwreck when I saw a whale shark. So how many actions do we have? Two actions. Which action is longer? I was swimming down the shipwreck, the past continuous tense, when I saw a whale shark. Now that's in the past simple tense. We already know that the longer action is going to be in the past continuous tense. So for the long action, it's going to be was swimming. Now which action is shorter? So is the shorter action and it's in the past simple tense. Now, my dear students, you can do your student book, page 44, exercise 6. Make sentences like the examples. I'm going to do the first one with you. We have two verbs, look for and see. So what are we going to do? We're going to merge those two sentences together using when. We're going to use the past continuous tense and the past simple tense. And remember, after when, we use the past simple tense. He was looking for the shipwreck when he saw a shark. Now, you can also do the exercise on your workbook, page number 36, exercise 7. Write the sentences. So you have words and phrases and you can join them together using when. Remember, we use the past continuous for the long action and the past simple for the short action. In this episode, we learned how to use the past simple tense, use the past continuous tense with when, join two sentences using when, negate sentences in the past tense. Thank you for watching.